<clears throat> hey, it's Nick, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install artificial turf in between concrete pavers. My name is Nick, I am the DIYer, and my wife April is the designer, and together we help you do it yourself in style. All right, so before we get into how to install artificial turf in between the pavers, I wanted to show you a sneak peek. Right now we're going through a, um, a pool addition to our home, and this step is the uh, artificial turf. And so during the process, we decided to artificial turf our entire backyard, and that included doing it in between pavers. During that time, we also decided that we were going to do it ourselves. So uh, did a lot of research, it's, it's an extensive process, but uh, here we are and I've done a few strips as you can see. And so I feel like I've developed a nice little rhythm and a great method. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So first I'm gonna go over some tools that you need for doing this installation. And then I'm gonna go over a few important things uh, to consider and remember as you're going through. And then a quick like one minute demonstration and then you'll be all set to do this yourself. All right, let's head on over to check out the tools that we need. <clears throat> So first off, decomposed granite is what you're gonna need for your base. So this is this was placed all throughout our yard and it's also placed in between the pavers. And so while I was doing this, this is a cool little trick. I made this little stomper contraption and I'm gonna demonstrate this in a strip that is not used. You can come over a little bit closer. <clears throat> and so right here, I'll just put this in between and make sure to stomp the granite so it's just right even with the concrete paver height. Okay, so you can make this yourself or just get the two two by fours and hammer them down. <clears throat> so next, you're also going to need some six inch nails. I got these on Amazon. I'll put a link to everything that I got on Amazon below this video. We're also gonna need some garden staples. This will be used for seaming uh, certain parts that don't have a good connection with the tape. We're gonna need a marker, obviously, to mark our turf. We'll need a hammer and some seam tape. And these are cut, just not obviously anything very precise that we'll use to uh, attach the strips and seam them together. We'll need a utility knife, some shears. I'll put a link to these. These have been amazing in this uh, turf installation. And that's it, that's all you need. So, uh, just a few, just quick little things to remember. Uh, pay attention to the direction of your blade length. Um, I made a couple of mistakes on that, so I had to remove it. Uh, but now I'm getting the, you can kind of see that the color changes. So just uh, pay really close attention to that. Um, the other thing is just take your time with this. And uh, you know, if you, there's a lot, there's some room for error, but if you make a mistake, just read, just throw away the strip and redo it. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and grab a couple of things that we're going to need and we'll go through the method. So we're going to use the seam tape here and we'll take our nails and our marker. And so we're going to, I'm going to be demonstrating this strip right here. As you can see, I've already done that strip and I've done the full length strip here. So that's the first step. You want to cut this full strip of artificial turf. And so in regards to the direction of the blade, you're obviously going to cut the turf in the opposite direction to get the blade length the same. All right, so let's head out over here to the turf. <clears throat> and so the other thing I made was a little jig because the, our turf width was two two by four, so it's easy to cut uh, your strips. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is measure each strip with this individually because as you're as you're making the pavers as we did ourselves and i'll do another video for that we found that some of them were exact and some of them had were a little expanded if you reuse the two by four sometimes there's a little bit bigger gap so i measured that one over there and it's just slightly larger than the two two by fours so i'm just going to set it up here and just mark it get rid of that and i'm going to use these awesome shears to cut along the line. So cut your strips just a little bit longer than the length. That way you can get really precise when you're seaming them together. All right, so got my strip, my shears, and my nails. So let's come back. 
<clears throat> All right, so first step, got our granite nice and compacted. Got our seam tape cut. So we're gonna put it underneath here and make sure that's glued there. And so then we'll take off, these are tricky sometimes, this. <clears throat> and so remember, direction of the blade, this way. So we're going to butt this up as tight as possible and connect those. See how we have a nice perfect fit here? And the black will kind of disappear as the blades rise up a little bit. So now we have a little bit longer strip here so we can cut that right there. So what I do is I just butt it up right there and make a little snip and then flip it over. See my snip? Cut that little bit extra off and now we have a perfect fit there. So now we'll get another piece of seam tape. Flip this over, repeat the process. Just like that. And then I like to go a little bit high and kind of butt it up right there and then press it down really hard. <clears throat> and there we go. And so now we'll put three nails, one in the middle, two in the edge. And so the important thing about your nails is that you want to dig out the blades of grass and find the bottom of the turf that is at least the width of the top of this nail. Did I bring my hammer? Nope. <laughs> and so this is pretty much the last step. So just hammer it in there, give it a little rub and the nail disappears. You could also add a staple here. And so some of the seams aren't as strong as others, just for whatever reason, if there's just a little bit of different level of the granite. And so on some of them, I'm adding a staple here in the end to just connect these a little bit harder. <clears throat> and that's it. That's how to install artificial turf in between the pavers. If you have any questions, just shoot a comment below. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks, and I'll see you for the next one.